morning, good morning guys. I'm Elle, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to give you a full honest review of the Snoo Smart Sleeper because she's expensive and she's earned quite a reputation for herself. And I've had so many DMs from you guys asking me to give my honest thoughts about the Snoo now that we've been using it for about eight weeks now. And I feel like I've been using it enough that I can give an honest review at this point. So that's what we're gonna do today. Before we go ahead and jump in, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you have the bell turned on to all notifications. That way you don't miss any of my videos. Let's get into it. So the Snoo was the brainchild by Dr. Harvey Karp, who's a pediatrician that wrote the book Happiest Baby on the Block. He theorized that babies are comforted by the five S's, swaddle, sucking, shushing, swinging, and side or stomach. And in his book, he says that if you implement all of these or some of these, you will have a calm, happy, sleeping baby in no time. When I was pregnant with Ford, I cannot tell you how many people told me that I needed to get that book, which was the first reason why I was excited to try the Snoo. Snoo is the world's first smart sleeper that mimics and imitates all the movements that baby is used to in your room. It is the safest smart sleeper that you can possibly get. The design is adorable. Mwah. My compliments to the chef. I love that the sides of the crib are dual mesh and so it allows for breathability which is great for safety. I was curious to find out whether it's worth the price tag. It retails for about $12.95 US. Mine is from West Coast Kids which you guys know at this point is my favorite place to get all of my baby items. It's pretty much the only retail store that I go to. They also have an online shop which is great. They price match and they do ship to the states for those Americans who are watching that are interested. $12.95 for the Snoo US works out to as if you had a night nurse or a night nanny for $7 a night for the first six months of your baby's life. And the way that it's broken down like that is because the, the whole theory behind the Snoo is, you know, 100 years ago, we had lots of help. New mamas had lots of help. There were aunts and uncles and cousins and grandparents and friends and other family members that would all come and help you through that fourth trimester um, time period when baby is difficult to sleep. And there's all these studies that show that sleep is really important. It's really important for the baby and it's also really important for parents. A well-slept parent means that they can pour into their kids more effectively throughout the day. A well-slept child, that is when all of their major brain development is happening while they're sleeping, so it's important for them to sleep too. The reality is in the type of world that we live in today, there we typically don't get as much help as we would like to or certainly as much help as we would have a hundred years ago, which is why night nurses and night nannies and doulas postpartum support has become so popular over the last couple decades. And so having this new smart sleeper is like having a night nanny. It's like having an extra family member on hand. And this is one of the things that I was a bit weary about with the Snoo. When I considered buying it, I thought, well, I want to comfort my baby. I don't want a machine to comfort my baby. I want to be the one who's comforting my baby. And is it, is it sort of um, taking the place of parenting? But I can honestly say after eight weeks of use, it doesn't replace any comforting or parenting. Brighton had her first vaccines two days ago and I was rocking her in the rocking chair for a long time. It doesn't replace parenting. I'll tell you what it replaces. <laughs> it doesn't replace any quality time. I'll tell you what it replaces. And if you're a mom already, you will totally know this moment. If you're a mom-to-be, you will know this moment. Those moments when it's, you know, 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. and there's nothing wrong, you know, they're fed, they're changed, they, um, you have the sound machine on, you've got, you, all the stars are aligned, you're doing all the possible things, they don't need anything, they're just kind of fussy, and you're exhausted, you're at your wit's end, you're at the end of your rope, and you're like, please just go to sleep, and you're frustrated. That is the time that the snoo replaces. And if you're thinking about that, that time is not quality time anyways. It's not quality time for you and it's not quality time for the baby either. So this is the time that the snoo is replacing, which is amazing. 
So the snoo intuitively reads the movements and sounds that your baby makes and figures out what of the five S's your baby needs. And it replaces the swinging and the shushing and the swaddling that you would traditionally have to do yourself. So it comes with, when you buy the snoo, it comes with all the sleepers that you're gonna need as well as a sheet. You can also buy more if you need it. The swaddle is designed to help baby stay on its back, which is the safest sleep position. It's also specially designed to keep the hands out of the way and put them in an optimal sleep position that helps them sleep longer. The swaddle itself takes five seconds to swaddle and it's hip safe, so it's not gonna cause any kind of hip dysplasia or hip issues whatsoever, which you can sometimes get with other swaddles. It then has a bunch of different sounds. It's got white noise, it's got a sound that sort of sounds like a vacuum cleaner, one that sort of sounds like a mom shushing, varying levels of swinging, and kind of rumbling, mimicking like a car ride, that sort of thing. And it intuitively will switch up the sound and the intensity of the rocking according to your baby's uh, needs of being comforted. It will of course alert you if it's to a point that baby needs you, so it's never going to replace parenting in that way, which is great, but it does provide amazing comfort. You can control all of it with your phone. There's an app that you download and you can access not only all the controls, you can also set custom settings. So if your baby, if the slowest setting is too slow and you want it to start at level one, you can do that. Um, it also will track all of your sleep logs. So you can see how baby has been sleeping, what her wake cycles and sleep cycles were like, how many times baby had to be comforted, and it kind of gives you sleep insights, which is really handy as well. It's also linked to the blog of Happiest Baby, which gives you it's an incredible resource and solves so many issues, which I'm going to get into in a little while. Setting up Snoo was, a breeze is an understatement. It was a pleasure to set up. Um, minimal packaging, not excessive packaging, and I set it up in literally under five minutes. It was amazing. minimal, uh, mid-century modern look, a little bit of a hint to a Scandi kind of feel. So I really like the look and design of the crib as well. I should say that if you're not certain that you want to purchase this new, it is also available for rent. You can rent it for about 350 US a day, which is about 112 a month, so that is an option as well. Speaking of the online resources, one of the concerns that I had was, am I going to be building bad habits? If I set the precedence that your bed is something that moves <laughs> the whole time you're sleeping, how do I get her to train out of that? Because the snoo is meant for up to four to six months or when baby puts themselves up on hands and knees, which for my kids was about five, six months. I thought, well, is it gonna be a nightmare of trying to train them out of it? But they have a whole training program online 
that will help guide your you and your baby through that process so that it's nice and seamless. Okay, so let's get into my personal experience with it. When we first brought Brighton home from the hospital, we automatically put her in the snoo in our room. And the first, I would say, week or so, everything went swimmingly. But I think that's mostly because she was brand, brand new and wasn't even really aware of her surroundings. About week two, she did not like the snoo. And when we would uh, swaddle her um, in the swaddler and put her in the bassinet, she would immediately um, spit up, she would immediately cry. And I thought, oh well, shoot. <laughs> um, this isn't gonna be suited for us. And so I emailed the company and just explained the troubles that I've been having. And they shared with me that in most cases, only 5% of uh, moms and babies actually can't get success with the snoo. 95% of the time, there's just a few little tweaks that you need to make to get your baby successfully sleeping in the snoo, which I thought was incredible. So I thought, well, hey, I'll give it a go. So they have on their blog, they have all sorts of resources of things to try. Um, if your baby prefers sleeping on their side, if they wake up as soon as you put them down, if they only wanna sleep on you, all these sorts of things that you can do that still promotes safe sleep, but gets them sleeping in the snoo. Once I put one to two of those elements in place, for us, it was swaddling her before she went in the bassinet. I had been trying to swaddle her once I put her down, where what I do now is I swaddle her when I get her ready for bed, and then I nurse her in the swaddle, and then I just have to attach the swaddle to the sides of the bassinet because they've got these safety clips that keep them safely in place. So once I made that switch, um, another switch that she liked is she likes having a little bit of a faster rock earlier on and then it'll wean itself down to the slow rock overnight so it's not going to be like, you know, rocking her too hard. At the fastest setting, it only moves a quarter of an inch at a time so it's super safe. You don't have to worry about them jostling the baby too much. But after making just those two little tweaks, Brighton went from sleeping maximum 20 to 30 minutes at a time to sleeping four to five hour stretches at a time. I know, and I thought I'm not ready to film the review yet because this could be fluke, but we're on like week three at this point of her consistently sleeping between four to six hour stretches at night and a minimum of two to three hour stretches during the day. And that's including when she's going through leaps. Once we figured the snoo out, I can absolutely attest to the fact that it does increase her sleep. She also has now made positive associations with the snoo swaddler. So when we're getting her ready for bed at night and we're putting her pajamas on and I'm swaddling her, as soon as I put her arms down and I put the chest straps over her, she smiles and like gets all excited because she knows what's coming and she really likes the snoo. So that's also really amazing to know too. The snoo swaddles and crib sheets are made from 100% organic cotton. They have all washed and dried beautifully for me. I haven't had any trouble. Brighton even had a blowout one night and um, the stain came out uh, without any issue in cold water. So they wash really, really well. There's also options with the snoo to get accessories. So they have lifters that you can put on the ends of this uh, snoo bassinet in case they're sick and they've got a stuffy nose or in Brighton's case she spits up a lot so it raises one side of the snoo ever so slightly to allow better sleep. It also has smaller legs so if you've got a more modern bed like Dan and I which is uh, lower to the ground you can get leg attachments that are nice and short so that the bassinet is at a good height for you. Brighton is now doing all of her naps as well as her nighttime sleep in her snoo and she is loving it, we are loving it, and I honestly, I cannot say more great things about it. I had a girlfriend text me the other day and she, whose sister is pregnant, and she said, my sister is considering the snoo, let me know, you know, on the down low, what are your honest thoughts about the snoo? And I was like, honest to goodness, I really think it's worth every penny. Considering it's the safest thing on the market, the design of it could not get any cuter, the amount of support in terms of the blog and troubleshooting that you can go through, the fact that it comes with three sizes of swaddles as well as your crib sheet, that it's like having the extra support at night, that it's like having an extra family member on hand, and the fact that we had a night and day difference in Brighton's sleep when we got her into the snoo. To me, that quality sleep 
and the development that I've seen in her as well as my the rest I felt in myself is worth every penny in my books. If you guys have any questions about Snoo Smart Sleeper, make sure to leave them in my newest Instagram post and I will answer as many as I can or I can do a follow-up video for you guys. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it helped you make your purchase decision, an informed purchase decision. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up button. Also make sure that you're subscribed. Check all the links in the description box below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.